Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five cons of owning land. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to our land. So we uh, purchased this uh, property here. It's 35 acres in the mountains of Southern Colorado. Uh, we purchased it probably about three months ago and we bought it for 33,000 bucks. And um, we've really enjoyed it. This is actually our sixth camping trip here on our land and we have just had a lot of fun owning this property. Uh, I just did a video on the nine pros of owning land but today I'm going to be doing the inverse and talking about the cons. So today's video is sponsored by Prime Land Exchange. So they are a family owned business out of Texas and these guys are pretty awesome because they sell property all throughout the country. And what's great about them is they basically act as both the seller and they can also act as the bank for the properties that they have listed. So you can buy their properties for cash or you can actually finance through them. So there's no need to go to a bank and get a loan or anything like that. You can literally do everything through them, which is awesome. Logan is one of the owners uh, of Prime Land Exchange and I've talked with him and I really feel that their values align uh, with mine and that's why I'm, I'm willing to have them as a sponsor. But they're having a sweet land giveaway, so you guys gotta check that out. I'll put a link in the description, but the giveaway is gonna be for land in Colorado here. So you gotta check that out in the description. You need to go to that link and then you also need to follow them on Instagram to be eligible. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the five cons of owning land. So the first con of owning property is that it can be a lot of maintenance. So you may buy a piece of property like us and think, oh, this is gonna be a great place for me to go to relax and not worry about anything. Well, if you're like us, you'll probably come to the property and you wanna do a lot of work. <laughs> Now, a lot of the stuff that we've done here has been self-imposed. We could actually just leave our property as is and it would be fine. But, you know, we've been making campsites and mitigating cactus because there's cactus in our open area here. We've been grading our driveway, cutting down dead trees, all that stuff. So what we're trying to do a better job at is setting boundaries when we come up here because we could literally spend our entire camping trips up here just doing maintenance to the property. And it kind of takes away from the fun aspect and coming up here to get away and just relaxing. So the second con of owning property is that you're gonna to have to pay property taxes. If you live in an area where there's HOA, you're gonna to have to pay HOA fees. Uh, you may have to pay like a water augmentation certificate. Um, you know, there's potentially a lot of other fees associated with your property, whether you're using it or not. Uh, so we own this piece of property. We also own a little bit of land up near Salida, Colorado. And just to give you guys some perspective, this 35 acres, our land, our property taxes is only about 70 bucks a year. And that's because this is considered agriculture land. We allow cattle grazing on our property. So that's why it's so low. But up there, that lot is about a 20th <laughs> the size of this property. And property taxes are literally 20 times higher than what we pay here. And we live in an HOA up there. And there's an augmentation certificate that we have to pay for water, even though we don't have a well or anything on that property. So, and in that area, you actually almost get penalized for having unimproved land, just for having raw land. So that's definitely one thing to consider is the fees associated with owning property. The third con is that there can be a lot of regulations on your property. Now this could be, if, if you're in an HOA, there's gonna be a lot more regulations more than likely, but even certain counties, it's not, it's not all the same Different counties are gonna range for sure. Different counties are gonna have different building requirements and building permits. They're gonna have square footage requirements. Um, some areas are not gonna allow shooting, hunting, ATVing, camping, 
or there may be a limited number of days, stuff like that. Um, and it varies per county. I mean, there's some counties out there that are a lot more lenient than others, but some are definitely pretty strict. And that's something that you got to do your own research when you're buying property because some realtors are just looking to make the sale and or they may not give you the actual information and regulations for what you can and cannot do on your land. The fourth con is that access to your property can sometimes be a challenge. Now there's a lot of different aspects of this. So first off, let's talk about the county road. So uh, certain properties, sometimes you need a four wheel drive vehicle to be able to access your property. There was a lot of properties that we had looked at that looked fantastic, but man, the access was awful. It would take you like an hour on a dirt road that's super bumpy and there'd be no way in a lot of the properties that we looked at that we'd be able to bring our camper there. And even so, I personally don't want to drive on a dirt road for an hour that's you know gonna be super bumpy and gnarly and whatever. Um, the other thing with access too that you gotta consider is sometimes uh, you may have to drive through an easement on somebody else's property to get to your property. Even though there may be a legal easement, sometimes neighbors can still be weird about you driving through their property and all that stuff. Also, you gotta consider and look at how often dirt roads are maintained you know they could not grade them very often maybe they're really washboarded out or maybe in the winter time there's no access because of snow or whatnot so the fifth and final con of owning land is that it's another thing to worry about if you're like me uh you know when you're away from your property you're probably gonna be like oh man is my land okay um are squatters moving in are people dumping trash on my property are people hunting on my property uh your mind can really get going with all these thoughts of stuff that could be happening on your property it's probably not going to be happening but um but anyways you're, it's one extra thing to worry about now obviously you can get like some trail cameras and stuff like that where you can actually remotely check in and visually see your property which is pretty cool you can do that stuff these days one thing that is nice though with with land in my opinion it's not as much of a worry if it's just straight up raw land if if we had a cabin out here or something like that i'd probably worry even more but it's just something that you got to kind of get over when you own property or a cabin or something like that that's out of sight all right guys well that is it for this video are there any other cons that you guys can think of of owning land or property if so put them in the comments below uh, like i said i'll put a link to a playlist of other videos uh, revolving around our land here but uh, anyways if you guys enjoyed this video give her a like and i look forward to seeing you in the next one